Hi, my name is Aaron, and I'm here at Seattle Piano Company. And today I am standing with our G3 six foot one Yamaha Grand Piano. Uh, Yamaha's G series it was sold right along their C series of pianos. Um, the C series to some uh, it's a little bit more notable. Uh, the C series um, are conservatory level pianos, so those are the pianos that are more aimed to. Uh, really high demand environments like recording studios, uh, teaching studios, things like that. Uh, the G series of pianos that Yamaha was producing from, God, it, was a, it was a really long run, I think it was from uh, 1950s, 1960s through the late 1990s. Uh, so this was a really, really long running series for Yamaha, but in any case, uh, the G series was meant more as the living room piano, right? So this was more the piano that was uh, meant for, uh, for home use. However, the G series and the C series pianos are really similar. Um, the cases are almost identical. Um, the parts and the action and the hammers are very similar. I think that the that the action might actually be uh, identical. This the string scaling I think is super similar. So I mean it's in some cases it, it's it, it can be splitting hairs a little bit the the difference between the G series and C series stuff to the level where. Um, you still see G series pianos in the same uh, high demand environments that the C series pianos are in. So you're going to see these a lot again in teaching studios, recording studios, churches, that sort of thing. So really well made piano, uh, really great tone. Uh, this model I believe was from 1984. Um, 1980s Yamahas sometimes get a bad rap um, just in the way that they're sometimes considered very bright and percussive. Um, I think that's a little bit unjust. Uh, I think that any piano played um, a ton is going to get uh, string grooves, and those string grooves are going to pack in the felts and the hammers, and then those hammers are going to become very bright and percussive, right? That's going to happen on Steinways, Mason and Hamlins, whatever, right? Um, so I think that a lot of uh, Yamaha, since they are in those like kind of like high demand um, environments, not serviced, you know, anything's going to sound kind of bright. But what's really special about this piano, uh, we just recently imported this from Japan. Uh, we have a partner out there that refurbishes Yamaha and Kawai pianos. Uh, obviously, they're a lot more abundant out there than they are out here. So they uh, they, they bring them in um, and they refurbish them to be as nice as they can be. So very similar to what we do here in our shop um, in house. Um, so they'll buff out the finish and the hardware, and uh, they'll clean and detail the inside, and regulate the action, regulate the keyboard, replace the felts, uh, shape the hammers, voice, all that stuff. And the end all product is always really nice. Um, the refurbishing that they do out there is uh, to a level that I strive to uh, to hit here in our shop, right? So that's kind of a benchmark for me. Uh, this piano, however, um, it's more than a refurbishing. This is more on the line of a restoration. So instead of just taking what's there and making it as best as possible, um, a lot of this piano was refinished, um, and what wasn't refinished uh, was, was buffed out to, to look new. Um, and all the pianos that they get in there, they take them apart to clean them, but this one was fully disassembled, so all of the plate screws came out, all the strings came out, tuning pins, uh, like everything. So like this big metal plate came out, like this was totally taken down to the frame. Um, then they went through and made uh, any necessary repairs to the soundboard that may have needed to be done. Uh, they refinished the soundboard, they repinned the bridge, uh, brand new strings all the way around, brand new tuning pins, pen bushings, uh, brand new damper felts. Uh, they did a whole new uh, brand new back action that the dampers connect to. Um, it just it got a ton, a ton of work. Uh, it's beautiful. It looks brand new. Uh, they did a really great job. The way that they, like when I'm looking at someone's rebuilding work, I, I pay a lot of attention to the, uh, to the stringing and like right at the tuning pin, um, it's, that's where like the sloppy work is really evident, right? So you'll see like really inconsistent coils in the pin. Uh, sometimes the tuning pins will be at different heights, things like that. Uh, this looks factory. I mean, it's, it's really, really perfect going all the way through. They did a really bang up job. Uh, the only thing that would keep me back from calling this a full restoration uh, is it has its original hammers and original uh, damp or excuse me, original um, action assembly. And I think why they chose not to replace those parts is they were just in really great condition uh, when the piano was brought in. So if I was looking at this as a project uh, before all this work was done, and I saw the condition that the that the hammers and the action were in, I would probably elect to just keep those two. I mean, um, when I pulled them out and inspected them, they really didn't look like they justified replacement. So. Um, so not a total restoration, but pretty close. So uh, this thing was given several decades of, of uh, playing um, back into it. So this, this has a lot of, of, of playing left. Um, this is not a bright piano, uh, like the, uh, the ones from the 1980s that I was mentioning. Um, and it's not a bright piano because the hammers have been 
uh, very well voiced. Um, so they went through uh, with a series of needles and different tools and they kind of like poke different parts of the hammer um, and poking different parts of the hammer will um, kind of shape the tone of the, of, the, of the piano. And so we don't have those rock hard hammers going up and hitting the strings. I mean, it sounds very consistent and very warm. Um, all throughout the scale. So um, yeah, this is a great piano. We'll, we'll end the video with a demo so you can hear it. Um, this piano um, is going to come with our five-year parts and labor warranty, just like any of our other pianos would. Uh, brand new bench, uh, in-home tuning, um, and our lifetime trade-up policy. So if you ever wanted to trade this back in for another grand or you know, whatever, um, I'll take this piano back for exactly what you paid for it indefinitely. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to call or text at 206-556-5712, or you can shoot me an email at Aaron, that's Aaron with two A's, at seattlepianoco.com. Thanks a lot for watching.